So hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So a bit of a different video today. I've never done a video while driving. I'm not sure whether it's going to work, but I don't have any fancy setup or rig. I've just got the camera balancing on a tripod in front of the back seat. So here we are in a Hyundai Ioniq. This is a 2017 28 kilowatt hour vehicle. And I thought I'd do this little video to explain the regen on it. So the regen on these cars is controlled by flappy pedals behind the steering wheel. And it's a really nice system and a little bit different to the majority of other EVs. Obviously some EVs have flappy paddles, nothing unusual there, but most EVs have a B mode on the gear selector. Nissan Leafs, Kia Souls, uh, the new Renault Zoe, the old Zoe didn't, that didn't have any adjustment on the region at all. Uh, but on the Ionic, you just have a drive button here and everything is done on the flappy paddles. And you have effectively four levels of regen, one, two, three, and also zero. And this is the crucial thing is zero turns it off. That's uh, coasting mode. You get something similar in an iMeve but it doesn't work to the same level as this. So the way the paddles work is the right hand paddle drops the regen down, the left hand paddle increases it. So I'm coming up to a junction now. Uh, I just had to uh, double check because the camera nearly fell over. Um, and I've taken my foot off the accelerator. We're in regen level three and it was quite strong. And that's actually what made the camera move there because we started deaccelerating too quick. So let's start with level zero. So I've taken it off. There's a quick way you can go from one extreme to the other is to pull the paddle in and hold it in. And it will, if you do this side, it will go all the way to three. If you do this side, it will go all the way to zero. Um, so let me get up to 50 miles an hour. Right, we're doing 50 miles an hour now. And if I now take my foot off the accelerator now, we're coasting and we're still doing 50 miles an hour. The car is hardly slowing down. We're now doing about 49 and it's slowing down now about 48, 47. It's now slowing down a little bit more, now 45. So it, it really does free wheel for a very long time. And if you can take advantage of gradients in the road, like if there's a slight downhill, then you take your fourth accelerator and freewheel. Obviously, if you've got it in position zero. I still haven't touched the accelerator. We're now doing 40, so we've only lost 10 miles an hour. And we've come around this corner, and now I'm gonna to touch the accelerator slightly. So that is the most efficient way of driving an EV. I had no regen, so I was getting no charge back in the battery, but then I was using zero electricity. And if you can, take advantage of that, particularly on gradients, that's the most efficient way of driving. And these high end Ionics are incredibly efficient. So as a general rule, I try to drive with no regen on and I use the regen as braking, which is what you should do in an EV really. And I've been driving this car for two weeks now and genuinely, I haven't touched the brakes. You know, I've touched the brakes to hold it on junctions. Uh, and it's got an auto hold and it does that as well. So I, but I haven't used the brakes yet to slow the vehicle down. I do it all on regen. Um, and it works incredibly well. So level one, two to three increases your regen. It increases the rate that the vehicle slows down. It also increases the amount of energy you're putting back, back in the battery pack. And on level three, it is very strong. It's quite severe. Um, which is what you want. Um, but also on the plus side, now I've got used to having a freewheel mode, a cruise mode. That's also what I want. You, it's nice to have those two extremes. So for example, we're driving into the village here and we've got a 30 mile hour limit we're coming up to. So I'm going to lift off the accelerator and my foot's completely off the accelerator and we are cruising, coasting. But we're still doing 45 and I need to slow down. So I'm going to increase the regen to one, want to slow down more, increase it to two. I've slowed down enough, so I've increased it back to one, and, I and now I've increased it to zero, and we're still coasting, and I haven't touched the accelerator, because I need to actually stop here, because we've got a bit of a little one 
one-way system here and it's all fine so I can carry on so now I've touched the accelerator so um, I've slowed down to 20 miles an hour without any braking all on the regen and it works really well but there is a lot of uh, touching of paddles if you want to drive efficiently of course you don't have to use it many people just leave it on number three have maximum regen um, but at times where you're approaching corners then um, you don't want to touch the brakes you really want to use the regen so like we're coming to this junction I've now touched the brakes just to hold it and you'll see there the camera did move actually we're gonna go this way um, but all the slowing down I did on the regen there um, and used uh, increased it up to number three so I hope that helps it's a really nice system on these if you get used to it it's obviously quite different to driving a normal petrol or diesel car um, engine braking on a normal ice vehicle is about the same as level one regen on these um, but uh, as you know anyone who drives an EV the regen is the feature that you really do like and you really miss when you go back to a petrol or diesel car um, and I've always favoured really strong heavy regen like on a BMW i3 I think that's lovely to have heavy regen and you just um, feather the accelerator pedal back up to do your slowing down however now I've got used to also having a cruise mode where you have free wheeling that's also very nice um, and hugely efficient and the efficiency of this car is just fantastic you know I'm getting five and a half miles per kilowatt hour um, at least that's the lane keep assist because I wandered a bit near the uh, white line there um, so yeah I'm getting five and a half miles per kilowatt hour and that's with the air conditioning on I've turned it off now because it's going to make a bit of noise um, but yeah you can get these up to six miles per kilowatt hour no problem um, yeah for, for a small battery EV these do some really good range you know, I'm getting around 130 miles to a charge, which is just fantastic for a 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. So I hope that helps, and uh, I hope this video has come out okay. It isn't too shaky.